Well, it's uh, natural, I think, for us here because we want to develop people's thinking but also their emotional understanding of life. So their thinking skills are going to be powerfully enhanced by the coaching method that will make them, it does make them, think and reflect at a far deeper level about their academic studies than if they are merely passively receiving information from a teacher or from a book or from a, a screen. So it simply goes deeper into their intellects. Uh, and then emotionally and pastorally, again, the coaching method helps them to reflect on their behaviour, the way they come across to other people. So rather than merely them uh, doing things because they're afraid of the punishment or doing things because they've been told, uh, or when they've done things wrong, being punished and resenting it, uh, the coaching method helps them to reflect on what they been doing, how they've been coming across, and the aim is very much that they then improve and learn. And the whole thing therefore is about a deeper level of learning than is possible in a factory school mentality where the children are just, uh, the students are just uh, passive. This, it's about active engagement, intellectual, emotional. It's an intuitive sense about the right way to bring up young people. The best parents are the ones who uh, help their children to think and reflect on, on what they're doing, and uh, rather than simply automatically telling them things, it engages their whole personalities. It's part of the a maturation process. It's part of the conferring of autonomy and responsibility that good parents do. It helps to make their children independent, which is precisely why some parents and no doubt some schools don't want to do this, because it does encourage independent thinking, critical thinking.